Hi, everyone. <clears throat> this is Ken with Ken's Insurance Agency. We are a full insurance brokerage. We can cover you from anywhere from underage um, health insurance to Medicare to um, life insurance to retirement planning to financial planning to auto to home. Um, and anything around those, even commercial. Today we're going to be talking about Medicare um, and the different parts. Um, so let's first cover what Medicare covers. Medicare covers is your health insurance for, for when you turn 65 and older. It's also health insurance for the disabled who have been on Medicaid for at least 24 months uh, without any other coverage. Um, let's see here. It also is health insurance for people with low income. So there's many different options. Um, Medicaid also usually covers in some of these areas, at least to a point. So these are things to remember. Um, and I'll, so let's get started. I'm fixing to do a screen share and show you a PowerPoint um, that gives all the information that we use in our educational training. We're gonna actually not go over everything as we would in our educational training but we will go over enough that you'll have an idea about Medicare. So Medicare is, consists of um, about five parts. You got your part A, which is your hospitalization. You got your part B, which is your medical which is like going to see a doctor or a specialist. You got your part C, which is your advantage. Usually comes um, with part D included in it. Um, you got your supplement, which pays on top of Medicare part A and B. And then you got your part D, which is your prescription drug coverage. Open enrollment is October 15th through December 7th. Um, you also have a seven month period around your birthday, which um, starts three months before your um, 65th birthday and includes the month of your 65th birthday and three months after your 65th birthday. Um, so this gives um, your regular enrollment periods. You also have SEPs, which is like when you're receiving Medicaid um, and different things. Um, so um, you can face penalties if you do not sign up for Medicare's Part A, B, and D around your 65th birthday or when coverage becomes available. Um, every year at open enrollment, you must re renew your plan um, accordingly. So Medicare Part A is inpatient hospital care, skilled nursing facility care, long-term care hospitals. Um, you usually don't pay a premium with Medicare Part A. If you buy Part A, um, you can pay up to $422 each month. Um, people that have to pay for it usually have less than 40 quarters paid with Social Security. Um, if you have, uh, if you paid less than 30 quarters, then you'll pay $422 in 2019. If you paid 
Medicare taxes for 30 quarters, but less than 39, then you'll pay around 232. Um, you also have a deductible that is $1,340. Days one through 60, you'll have a coinsurance of $0. Day 61 through 90, $335 coinsurance per day for each benefit period. Days 91 and beyond, $670 coinsurance per each um, lifetime reserve day. And you only get so many lifetime reserve days after 90, which is um, up to 60 days. Beyond lifetime reserve days, you, re, you will be responsible for all costs. Part B covers two types of services. Medically necessary services, services for, or supplies that are needed to diagnose or treat your medical condition and that meet acceptable standards of medical practice, preventative services, healthcare to prevent illnesses like the flu, or detect at an early stage when treatment is most likely to work best. You pay nothing for most preventative services if you get the services from a healthcare provider who accepts assignment. Part B coverage covers things like clinical research, ambulance services, durable medical equipment, mental health, inpatient, outpatient, partial hospitalization, getting a second opinion before surgery, limited outpatient prescription drugs, and um, basically there's other ways to find out what Medicare covers. Um, the standard Part B premium is around $134. It can be higher depending on your income. Um, your Part B deductible is $183 per year. Um, after the deductible, you typically pay 20% of Medicare approved amount for most doctor services. Uh, Medicare Part C which is also known as Medicare Advantage, is a plan that will cover your medical and doctor. Um, it's provided by a private insurance company, must have Part A and B, usually includes Part D, is very affordable in price, has deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurances, usually comes with extras like the ability for a free gym membership, hearing, vision, dental. Um, must have both Part A and B for Medicare Advantage. Medicare supplements, one way to pay for your out-of-pocket expenses. Must have Medicare Part A and B. Cannot have Medicare Part C. Part D sold separately is more expensive than Part C. Broken into different versions, A, B, C, F, F high deductible, G, M, and N can have a deductible and co-pays and co-insurances, usually does not have extra services like hearing, vision, dental, and does not come with a free gym membership. Um, there is a hybrid version of the Medicare Supplement slash Medicare Advantage, which is called uh, the Medicare Select Plans. These plans are only available in certain states. Medicare Part D or PDP is your prescription drug coverage provided by private insurance companies. Must have Part A and B, cannot be part of a Medicare Advantage Part C or sold with a supplement. Um, if you have a Medicare Advantage, you must buy it with the Part D that is included in the plan. Um, you will have a premium yearly deductible, co-payments and co-insurances, cost in the coverage gap, cost if you get extra help, um, <coughs> cost if you pay a late enrollment penalty. 
So those are the different kinds of costs you can have. Um, and the premium is determined by the private insurance company you go with. Um, the late enrollment penalty is around 10% uh, per year that you did not have coverage that you were supposed to. Um, deductibles vary between Medicare drug plans. No Medicare drug plan may have a deductible more than $415 in 2019. Um, the amount you pay for each prescription after you paid your deductible is either a co-payment, which would be like $10, or it can be a co-insurance, like 25%. Um, the drug plans are broken up into tiers. Um, you'll get to the coverage gap once you've spent $3,820 in covered drugs. Um, you can get extra help for paying for this if you qualify through Medicaid and other um, services. Um, you'll pay a higher um, copay or coinsurance in the coverage gap. Um, this is also known as the donut hole. Um, so you'll pay no more than 35% of the plan's covered brand name prescription drugs. Uh, also, once you spent $5,100, you come out of the coverage gap and go into catastrophic coverage. At this point, basically you pay very little for your drugs. Um, the next thing is you can get supplements to help offset some of the costs with Medicare. Um, these would be like cancer plans, critical illness plans, hospital indemnity plans, Medicare gap plans, um, dental, vision, hearing plans. So that gives you some information. And that's all that we really have for our Medicare um, we want to remind you that if you want more information, if you want to sit down and have a free educational training, free quote, free policy review, we will be glad to give you these. Give us a call. Our number is 662-292-6271. Again, that number is 662-292-6271. And you can also reach us by going to our website, K-E-N-S-I-N-S-U-R-A-N-C-E-A-G-E-N-C-Y.net. Thank you and have a nice day.